Silicon Valley may be ground zero for high tech in the U.S., but West Virginia is trying to get its fair share. Ground has now been broken for a major expansion of one of the mountain state's technology parks. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more from Fairmont. This may be a relatively low tech way of showing that high tech could be about to boom in West Virginia like never before. Crews are building a new road into the I 79 high tech park in Fairmont, and officials there are looking at blueprints to greatly expand their 400 acre tech complex. The IT knowledge based economy is happening every day at the high technology park. We eat it, we breathe it, we live it, it's our passion. We're going to expand it. The high tech park is already home to NASA facilities, satellite tracking operations, the National Weather Service, and numerous other federal agencies and private tech ventures. The concept also involves merging aviation, aerospace, and tech business into a new aerotech center at the North Central West Virginia Airport in Bridgeport. It's never been easier to get to North Central West Virginia than it is right now. Uh, we're having some of the best uh, months in the history of our airport. It continues to grow. With schools opening across the state over the next few weeks, another goal is to inspire young students to pursue the STEM fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. For the children to know that if they grow up and they love high tech, they love space, they love airplanes, they can get all of the training they need, starting in the school system, in the K-12 school system, all the way up to our universities. Right now, 1,000 people work in tech jobs in the park. Leaders hope expansion here and at the airport means the sky is the limit. For federal agencies that would like to move to the I-79 high-tech park, there's an added incentive. Property for them here is free. In Fairmont, I'm Or Curtis, 13 News, working for you. And this coming Sunday on Inside West Virginia Politics, we'll devote the entire program to what's happening in high tech when it comes to the Mountain State. That's 1130 Sunday morning right here on Channel 13.